Hey everyone, this is a special episode and we are currently in the whitelisted server that is going to be opened soon. Soonish. Um, we're just watching the sunrise coming up above our castle. This is actually Zerain Kingdom, <laughs> isn't it, Andre? Yep. We are a little kingdom. Built a massive wall around with a castle. On we could top follow of the, the wall, actually. Should we follow the wall? Um, we'll follow the wall at the end. Okay, okay. Um, so, Andre, if you show us the book room. Oh, it's our enchantment room for our court wizard. Hmm. <laughs> It's just this way. So inside basically. is a haven for all. Oh! <coughs> oh! Bless you. Uh. So this, this is, is the book room. Enchantment room. With our enchantment table at the bottom. Oh, why is it being covered up? Oh, I was just wondering if it was going to make it the enchantments more powerful. I don't think it does. We can probably get rid of it. Yeah, it looked better without them. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, lots of books to make the enchantments as powerful as ever. Well, only these ones actually do anything, I think. But uh, those oh. ones are for show. That's a shame. <laughs> right, so what's next, Andre? The maze? The maze, yes, the maze. I um, won't go round it because it's too difficult. Uh, where is that again? I can't remember. Well, it's so big now. The oh, interior of the castle hasn't here been finished yet. So, we've just made the outside of the castle. Yeah. Um, just fly above it, I guess. Yeah, this is a maze inside, and it actually goes upstairs into the second area. Nothing special. Little project. But it does make everybody rage quit before they complete it, so it must be quite good. We're planning on having an opening gate here eventually. Yeah. We figure out how to do it. Coming down to the um, the Market. city. The kind, of, kind of a market, I don't know. Market yeah, square. Market square. square yeah. The square, there you go. Well, it's more of a rectangle. With the fountains. And Very the towers. Fountains. It costs us a lot of money, those fountains. And obviously there will be more buildings and things here, market stalls, etc. But we just haven't had the manpower to build them yet, have we, Andre? <laughs> Not quite. Um... Uh, I keep getting um, cons I keep getting uh, sidetracked with little secrets. Let's see your underwater thing. Ah, the conference room. I think we've already shown this conference room in, a, in the, the shenanigans video. Oh yeah. The but uh, there's a little secret in it yeah. which uh, we didn't show in the shenanigans video. Let's just drop down into it. Just swimming. I love swimming. Oh. There we go, I'm in. Right, so here is the conference room. There's a rain like gaming normal, conference room. Normal conference room, but um, if you just slap the switch here. This is where we read all our um, YouTube emails, etc. So you put a switch on there and it comes down. To a big... Now, I won't read all of the signs. <laughs> because there, there's literally about... 20, 500 like. of them <laughs> but if you ever come it's in the server story. if you ever come in the server when it's open feel free to go and read them I also hope to dot these around the rooms like this eventually when the server's up gives a little bit of story so uh oh yeah some things it's not quite finished yet right Oop. Ooh. And yes, you have vines growing down. Now explain the... what this place is, Andre. Basically, just a little story backstory thing for the server world. Well, for Zerain Kingdom, really. So it's like buried somewhere underneath the kingdom is this little room where a portal to the Nether has been sealed by. I don't know if it's even working at the moment. It's not working at the moment. <laughs> This isn't. This wall's meant to regenerate over time, but uh, I'll fix it eventually. But basically, it's just a bit of backstory. So, so there's a portal like in this, there, isn't there? There's a portal yeah. in there. 
no real reason for it, just uh, kind so, of a bit of fun. So basically, we're building up our Zerain kingdom, aren't we? And also, if you check into this, there's a little sword in there, which is enchanted. So if you were happen to stumble across a room like this when you're playing the server, you get some decent loot. So it's like a quest? Kind of, yeah. Well, that's and good. And I hope to make some more of these, which would be nice. Right, should we show them the wall of um, Zerain all... Kingdom? Yeah, we spent a very long time laying this wall down with a couple of friends of ours. Very, yeah. very long time. Snow Dino, who was in a previous episode with us once. Another one of my uni friends, Captain Nameless. Captain Nameless um, helped build the exterior wall, and Captain Nameless has also helped build a lot of this in Zerain Kingdom yeah. too. Um, the problem is our team is only about two or four at the moment, isn't it? Four, yeah, usually two. When they can play, they play, but they're usually so, two or three. Zerain Kingdom is steadily growing. Steadily. We, we're kind of building some cool stuff, though. Right, let's show the wall. This is our defense array. We made it mainly because it's just a bit of fun, really. I think when the server's up, there's going to be area-specific PvP. Um, so it's not really useful in that sense, but we made it for a bit of fun. Um, really, it's just uh, for uh, defense. So yeah, these all shoot practically the same time. Loads and loads of arrows. And what happens when you run out of arrows? You've got to reset them all again. But it's how, uh, how fun. It's a shame you know. there's not a way to actually um, refill the arrows automatically. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, but uh, it's mainly just for a bit of fun. So just that's a little, a little project. It's a little bit extra. Um, yeah. So basically, the server is now whitelisted, as we explained. Um, if you'd like to join it early, the server um, owner has set up a website where people can go and donate a small set amount and they will then be added to the whitelist of the server. Um, and that will allow you access to the server early to help build etc um, and to play. Other than that, the server will open once all the mods have been added. Um, not sure when that will be yet, but all donations on the website in the description below will go to keeping the server running and keeping it active and keeping it up. No profit will go to any of us. We don't even run the server. Yeah. We just play on it. Um, yeah. So if you want to play right now on in the Rain Kingdom, you can go and donate. So, you saw a teaser of Zerain Kingdom, which will be releasing as soon as the server becomes public. Go check out our website, zerainegaming.com, and thank you for watching all our videos. Thanks a lot. See you. See you.